The Lord be with you <clears throat> and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be sure of this. If the master of the house had known the hour when the thief was coming, he would not have let his house be broken into. You, must, you also must be prepared, for at an hour you do, you do not expect the Son of Man will come. Then Peter said, Lord, is this parable meant for us or for everyone? And the Lord replied, Who then is a faithful and prudent steward whom the master will put in charge of his servants to distribute the food allowance at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master on arrival finds doing so. Truly I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that servant says to himself, My master is delayed in coming and begin, begins to beat the ma men servants and the maid servants to eat and drink and get drunk, then that servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish the servant severely and assign him a place with the unfaithful. That servant who knew his master's will but did not make preparations nor act in accord with his will shall be beaten severely. And the servant who was ignorant of his master's will but acted in a way deserving of a severe beating shall be beaten only lightly. Much will be required of the person entrusted with much and still more will be demanded of the person entrusted with more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. At any given time or place or station in life, there are always expectations of us. Laging merong mga inaasaan ng mga tao sa atin. Kahit sa man tayo mapunta, kahit anong edad, kahit anong estado natin sa buhay, whatever our station in life, if we are you know, in very intelligent, we have a high educational background, or we don't have very much educational background, there still would be expectations of us. And those expectations will not always be the same. Tawag doon, responsibility. Responsibility. Being able to do what society, what the world expects of us. Depending, as I said, depending on the factors na yun. Depending on our age, depending on our status in life, depending on the place and time, depending on many, many other factors. There are expectations. So some of those expectations can be real and some can be unreal. Minsan sobra yung expectations. Minsan naman tama lang, dapat tama lang. As infants, alimbawa, when we were babies, ano expectations sa atin? All, all that was expected of us kasi wala pa naman tayong tinapos, bata pa tayo, hindi pa marunong. So ano expectations? Not very much. We, all that was expected of us was to eat, to drool, to lulaway, to cry, to sleep, to, be, to get your diapers dirty and wet, and to be cute. Yun lang, as infants, konti lang expectations. Ma maging healthy lang, maging, but that, even that is not an expectation, it's a hope. Wala masyado expectation, kasi wala pang, wala pang bala, wala pang kakayanan, there's no capacity yet. As we grow older, as we, when we become children and begin to walk around, and expectations, tumataas, dumadaming expectations. More is expected of us. We're expected to play around, we're expected to, to pre make pretend games, to be curious, to watch TV or play the computer, to eat, sleep, sometimes even be clumsy, but also to be cute and to obey, and to be humble. 
as children, di ba? Habang bata pa tayo lumalaki, toddlers, nagtatakbo makulit, yun ang expectations out of us. When we go to school, we're expected to make friends, we're expected to learn, to pay attention to the teacher, to follow our elders, to focus, to obey. Simple chores, errands, we're expected. Tama lang. We are responsible for all those things. Habang tumatanda, when we become teenagers, of course, study pa rin, making friends, having good grades, and also helping at home. We begin, we, we start to, people start to expect from us to be able to help at home. Sabi nga ng turo nga sa akin, sa amin, ng nanay namin, to help the helpers. So hindi lahat iaasa mo dun sa helper ng bahay. You don't always you know, expect the helpers to do everything for you. You need to help the helpers. You need to, to uh, raise a finger. No? You need to do something to carry your load. Ikaw din, tatrabaho. As adults, you are expected to work, to be productive, to earn, to be in relationship. You cannot live your life just by yourself in a, in a tower. You have to be in relationship. You need to know you're expected how to uh, mingle with other people in, an, in a nice, good way, friendly way. That is expected of us. Responsibility din natin yun. Responsibility natin to also to take care of our families, our children, or our people around us. If you're not married, you are nephews and nieces and, and many other people around us. We're expected to care for them. Minsan, we expect, even if we do not like the expectation, di ba? Kahit hindi natin gusto, kahit hindi natin type gawin, we have to, uh, parents know that, you know, they wake up, you know, in the middle of the night to change, to change the diapers of their children, di ba? We do that. Because we're expected to do something, because we're responsible people, we do even that which we do not like to do. Because that is our responsibility. In the gospel, the, the master of the house had expectations of um, the servants, the people in his household. He had expectations. He was expecting them to be faithful and prudent stewards, to take care of everything in the house, to take care of them so that to do the right thing at the right time, at the right place, for the care of the household. Stewards, prudent stewards. We are the servants of the house. And the master is God. And God expects us to be faithful and prudent stewards. That is our responsibility. To take care of one another, to take care of the world. To take care of one another by being in charge of, the, of one another, of other people, especially those who are less than us. To be in charge of them, to give them the best, to make them, uh, to direct them and guide them towards happiness and peace. To be in charge of one another. And finally, to distribute the food allowance at the proper time. God expects us to do our best not to, not to let, allow anybody to go hungry. God expects us to feed one another as much as we can, as best as we can. We all have responsibilities. Even God expects us to do something on a daily basis. That is why maybe we need to ask ourselves, what does God want me to do today? What is God's expectation of me today? Each day may be different. Ano yung ano yung expectation? Ano yung naasahan ng Diyos na gagawin ko today? Who and what is God entrusting to my care? Sino ba binibigay sa akin ng Diyos para alagaan ko? Para uh, mahalin ko? Who and what is God entrusting to my care? So we pray, Lord, help us to live as your faithful and prudent stewards. Help us to be your faithful and prudent stewards.